Let me know if you hear me. We always, we have to, we, let's get this microphone a little closer, right? All right. We have to make sure that people hear me. We, we have to make sure, and you have to let me know. This is how it's been for three years now. You have to let me know if you hear me. I mess up audio all the time because I'm pathetic. Just say something, please, Jack. Thank you, Nano. Thank you. Now I can wear my headset. Goodbye, charging cable. Hello, headset. Perfect. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the other YouTube channel. I know you've been here. You sat here. You watched Anna and uh, and Salinity um, couch playing, backseat driving, backseat gaming. Just cost four. And now you're going to watch me play Wulshin. Is it Wulshin? Wulshin? Lords of Mayhem? As you guys know, at BlizzCon, there, has, there was a lot of discussion about Blizzard just not really wanting to keep the crown of the action RPG genre. Um, and there's a lot of games that have been coming out. I was actually going, to, I was actually considering playing the, the new um, update that came out for Path of Exile for the stream. Uh, I didn't research it too much, so I don't know if the content's really at low level. I don't really, I don't have a max level character in Path of Exile, do I? I don't think I do. I did at one point, but I like to delete my characters because I get upset with them. Like you're, you're, you're not living up to my expectations, and I just ended it. You know, it's, it's what I do with family too. Um, so I decided let me do Wolson. What's or Wolson? Wolson. And the thing that I like about this game is that there isn't really a defined class to it, and it's on the Cry Engine. Which is pretty interesting. This game was in alpha. I don't know if it's still in alpha. I think it's in beta right now. In beta, as they say, um, in some corners of the world. Uh, but we are going. We're going to play that. We're going to play that today. And uh, where is it? Where are you? I'm going to launch it now. We're going to play it. I am playing this on the Alienware Aurora. Uh, with the NVIDIA RTX 2080. Oh yeah, 2080. Performance difference from 1080. Not that monumental. I'd like the game to be borderless win uh, a borderless window like I had made it. I think that that would be fantastic. Probably beyond fantastic, to be quite honest. So that way I can pull it up. Super great. Where the hell did my mouse go? Oh no, you full screened again. Oh no, you're bored of this window. Let me get my mouse off. Let me get that mouse out. Whatever. <sighs> Bring it up. Bring it up. There we go. Cool. All right, so I am playing this at 1920 by 1080. I have a borderless window. Is there a setting above high? Yeah, very high. Let's turn VC off. Show FPS. Let's turn that on. Can show it over here? No. Oh, so the game's still in alpha. I'm sorry. This mode is meant to be played along with the low mode. It can greatly improve performance as it was many drops. Take that. Turn that off. We need lens We need that microphone. Oh, come on. Do your changes. Do them. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. I do have this guy from the last time I played. I guess I'm an alchemist. What? Let's change our character. Hey, I have people. I have different people. They all look the same. Look at him, he looks like Rusev. Rusev, baby. Let's be a girl this time. Let's create somebody. We're gonna be a girl. I'm so tired. Puny fat. Puny fat. Oh my god, the body features. 
fucking weird. I don't like it. Uh, okay. <sighs> uh oh. I think I said this slider. Too much. Too much. Can't handle it. Okay. Uh. Do we have the half shape thing going on here? Oh, you're missing out. Sharing gun. Damn, you can have some intense damn eyes in this game. Um, what should I call you? I'm gonna call you. Call her Jamba Juice. Is the game, like, glitchy for you guys? I just saw, like, on Xbox that it's kind of, like, weird looking. Actually, um, let me... No. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, game settings can I increase the difficulty? Did I recommend this game? I haven't gotten too far into it. Oh, there's a board mode. Um, it's on. Oh, my God. Do I recommend the game? Do I recommend the game? Hi, Luke, by the way. Um, you've been subbed to this, to this very channel, to this Alienware very, this, 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 this channel, the Alienware channel. You subbed here. Jaden. Jaden or Jaden? Because when I was little, so your name's spelled very similar to Raiden from Mortal Kombat, and they called him Raiden or they called him Raiden. It always depended amongst me and my friends what we called them. I haven't played Mortal Kombat in quite some time, though. But thanks for subbing. Thanks for subbing and being part of our YouTube channel. Just going to hope that this loads. I can't tell if it's loading. So, Jad so, so, so Jaden. Load the game. Oh no! You've awoken on a breaking bridge. Why am I here? There we go. Am I playing on an Alienware PC? I am playing on the Alienware Aurora. Um, this is the same system that we did Dungeons and Dragons on, the Dungeons and Dragons stream. So I had like four cameras hooked up to this system and we streamed that. And this is the system I normally do my tech talks on. So I use the Alienware Aurora for performance, streaming, editing. I use it for everything. We're gonna go thunder, 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 thunder. How do I learn it? Right click. You learned thunder. To use thunder, press button. Okay. Oh yeah, I should read before I keep walking, huh? Oh, so I can slam. Oh, one is... So this game really promotes you to do uh, hybrid things like uh, mixing up melee with um, with magic. One of the things I like about the magic part is it's like this affects him. Like I can do more damage to them in the water. And look at the water. You ever play? You ever see this in Diablo? You ever see the water move so beautifully, so courageously? I would say it's even brave. So brave. Too brave. When is this game coming out? I don't know. It's currently in alpha. Um, it did have a major update recently. I think like last month or something like that. Not enough umbra. Oh, one second. Someone's at the door.
be on the camera. Huh? It's all good. Let me, uh... Let me... Oh, shit! <laughs> I was getting attacked. It's Wilson. Um, yeah, try to, try to squeeze in. Um, so let me... You need to get a... You can grab one of the, the, the little... The little bench. Yeah, and I'll and I'll fix the camera real quick. Yeah. Uh, left and right. Let's increase that. Oh shit! I killed myself in the camera. There we go. Cool. Uh, let me get the game back up. Cool. So guys, uh, in case you can't see. What? Yeah, I have Ernie here. Um, I did, for those of you that watched the Overwatch video, which I'm sure you didn't. Even though you're subscribed, you're not watching the Overwatch. It's super sad. <laughs> um, in that video, I did mention that there is someone that's been added to the team. as you know, been kind of me and Anna for like a year and a half now. Um, Ernie is now part of the team. Uh, officially. Yay. Every time that Ernie was on the stream or doing anything, even the videos he made where he went over like the DIY and our like um, our uh, services and stuff like that, he wasn't part of the team. Ernie just did it just because he was a bro uh, and helping people out online. But now he's officially part of our community engagement team, and it's gonna it's gonna be a while, probably like three months or so. Yeah. But he's gonna be your new tech talk host. I mean, I'll, I'll still show up, obviously, yeah. because I sit in this room. But <laughs> um, Ernie's going to be our, our new Tech Talk host. And to be honest, he's way better at, uh, at our systems, like understanding like um, the performance difference and the technical terms and all that than I am. I know you guys are like, Omar, but you're so hot. You're really <laughs> um, Ernie knows it way better than me. Ernie has been Ernie has been our solo like performance guy, like high end, like critical issue performance for like two years now. Yeah, Ernie did everything on our notebooks, desktops, our concept stuff that we're not gonna our talk new about. Stuff that's coming out. Our new stuff that's coming out, our dope stuff. Um, Thanks, I'm, we have some new stuff here in the room that I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'm gonna say it here only because I know no one in our product group or marketing team <laughs> is going to watch this stream because I'm gonna leave it on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have some cool stuff that's coming out pretty soon that Ernie's actually gonna help me with that. Idea. Super exciting stuff. Super exciting stuff. So Ernie and I have been at Alienware for a long time. And you guys, I've been here since I was 19, but um, Ernie beats me. Ernie, how long have you been at Alienware? Since I was 15, it's gonna be 20 years in my life. Yeah. It's been a long time. Ernie has been here forever. The only job I did before this was Chuck Corn. Yeah, at the state <laughs> fair. Yeah. yeah, at the, at the <laughs> county fair. It's been a long, been a long time. <laughs> And Ernie's done a lot here. Uh, just like me, um, he and I are part of like the Legacy Alienware team, so we've done... Can I bump the mic volume? Mic volume's up all the way, but... Uh, yeah, actually, so the first the first uh, slider... Yeah, push that all the way up. Is that better, guys? I Actually, it is better, because I'm seeing it boom up a lot more. I only had it down a little bit, yeah. but now it's like super duper, like louder. And you guys let me know if it's uncomfortably louder. I can I can lower it here in the setting here on the computer. Titan. I haven't played That's Titan Quest. Game, yeah. You know they have Titan Quest um, on the Switch. Do they? Yeah, they have I like on the that Switch. they're putting all these games on the Switch. I know. It's making me Paladins. Not. Paladins is on the Switch. It's it's fun. Fun. Bra uh, Brawlhalla. Yeah. Serious hatering. Yeah, people hate Brawlhalla um, because uh, they fight. We fought each other when playing Brawlhalla. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, uh, fuzz on it on the audio just because I need I need I need money to fix that. This room. So this room. So okay. It has ridiculously high it's, ceilings. It's ridiculously high ceilings. But here, check this out. Check this out. There's a lot of interference on the lines. You know, I was in this room two weeks ago by myself. And suddenly, I, I kept I kept 
like taking the microphone and I kept putting it in like an isolation shield and an isolation box that I made. No sound should come out. When I do that at home, it sounds crisp. It's like I'm, it's like ASMR. Like I'm just wow. saying sexual things into HD, your ear with like my HD lips. Audio. Yeah. And it works really well at home. But when I did that here, I kept hearing this interference and I started like listening to it and I kept hearing it in the room with everything off. Mm-hmm. And I went to and that wall over there and this wall over here. So the old studio had the walls built for audio. They were redone, but these weren't because this is the old XPS studio. So this studio is the old XPS studio. And XPS is the old Alienware studio, which I wish we kind of had. Yeah, swap back. I wish we could swap back. It's just, you know, I manly moved all this. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to do it again. (laughs) But I do think that we could use, I definitely think like the XPS studio going back would probably be better. Like we moved here, we moved here only because like, it was better to do VR. Yeah, because the uh, layout in the middle. Yeah, because the layout in the middle is open. But like, do you guys really want to see that much VR content? Like, we should do like once a quarter. Like, and we can build that out. Like, we could go to like a, uh, like we're in Austin, so there's plenty of warehouses we could go and do it. I mean, we could even we could even ask Marcy. Well, Marcy has a warehouse where she keeps oh, all her true. stuff. Oh, you went with me that, yeah, one that one time, and we could probably do like VR there and like the warehouse that Marcy has. VR. And then she's like, you can't do that here. There's too much confidential stuff. No, shut up. I thought you were wearing a shirt that said Umar, but it was just the perfect oh, angle. No, it was at the perfect angle. I was um, like, Dude, you got a shirt with your name on it? That is awesome. So I do have, I am, I am supposed to get money to fix the audio in this room, like a lot of the, the fuzz in the room. Um, but honestly, I'd just like to move over there. Yeah, I'm shooting lightning on my freaking hand. Thank of God. This game lets you, um... What is this? Wilson. So it's like, so... I have like a Diablo vibe. Yeah, so check it out. So it's Diablo, but it's done on the CryEngine. So it was used for like Crisis and The graphics really good. The graphics are really, really good in it. And uh, I started looking up this game just because, um... Yeah, I know. I made her boobs huge. Um, And that was one of the options. There's great customization that I can't get in Diablo. Like, I like this. This is pretty fun. I want my barbarian dude to just be huge pecs and everything giant giant you can make your guy pretty much look like rusif so i had a guy that looked like rusif in here um but yeah ernie's joined the team he's been here for a long ass time he's done a lot of stuff for anywhere um start being coming out a lot more once the whole transition phase yeah so ernie while ernie is part of the team he's slowly part of the team yeah (laughs) Clear things up. You're actually supposed to join um, Monday. Uh, it's officially Monday, yeah. First day. Yeah. So, we, yeah, you know how many times I've died to this? This is like a, this is the starting point. Wow, you're annihilating people. Yeah. Because I'm great. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's right. It never did this big. That's sweet that it's doing that. I guarantee these guys are still hitting me. Hey, look, they're still hitting yeah. me. It looks like Witcher. It does look like Witcher. It's probably an Witcher. I need to get rid of these guys. Oh no! I got some. I'm gonna die, huh? <laughs> How do I heal? I can't heal. No. I don't know. I don't know what it does. Nope. Yeah, what's. Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Yeah, that headset's awesome, Wicker. Dude, yeah, I think Wicker has a headset. Did I, I, did I send you a headset, Wicker? I, I think I did, right? Home. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a fan of wireless headsets at first. I remember you were complaining not for about gaming, it. Cause, I mean, I have that whole school mentality, but dude, it's freaking awesome. It's really, really good. It sounds crisp. I use it for everything. I use it for everything for too. Everything. I, I, and I was with you too. I don't like, um, I don't like uh, wireless stuff. Yeah, for me, gaming me i just either. i don't like it i don't like the the headset i don't like wireless headsets because of that but like this thing has pretty good battery life i've never really had it say low battery until i've done like like five hour D sessions i leave it with all the color cycling and everything yeah and 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 it doesn't like run out of battery like, like, like real quick uh where the hell am i i go here so yeah, this game, basically I did this game just because I was like, oh, you know, it'd be cool to play it this game fun, again. Though. I think I've done this game before too on YouTube or on Twitch. I forget which one. Um, 
Guys, bring this headset to Brazil. You need one. In Brazil, you have the keyboard and mouse, but not yet headset. Well, really? I got some good news for you. They have tasked me with ensuring that we prioritize Brazil. <laughs> so, hmm. um, I don't know why it wouldn't be. They're one of the biggest countries in the world, dude. Yeah. So, um, I think you guys might get them. I just don't have like an ETA. Does this hurt me? No. Uh, I just don't have an ETA of, like when they're coming out. All I know is like, Brazil. let me tell you guys, Brazil, numero uno. You're, you're very important. Um, but yeah, so this you're excited nice. to... Yeah, it looks I'm fine. definitely excited. Something new. You've been trying to yeah, get in this team for a long since, time. Uh, since I was in Miami solo. Yeah. When I was over there before I even moved. I don't know how many people I asked. and. Yeah, they were like... Just please. They were like, no, no, you can't. When the time's right. When yeah. The time is finally right. Yeah. All it took was me saying, hey, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll, I'll do these 9,000 other things. But you really need to backfill me. <laughs> and like, oh, wow. We didn't think of that ever. So let's do that. Let's do that. Streams back. I haven't dropped any frames. Oh, I did drop a you couple. Dropped some yeah, I dropped some frames. Hi, Father. Yeah, it's definitely exciting. I had a shield the whole time. That does not look like the shield. Oh, yeah, it, it does, does actually. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is real big. Yeah, it did drop for a second. My bad. But I've been really into action RPG games. Matter of fact, last night, um, I, f when, uh, I finished uh, some of the stuff I was presenting today, uh, I started playing um, Diablo on the Switch. And I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, why are you talking about the Switch and consoles? I like the Switch a lot. I like it a lot. They're stepping it up for real. Yeah. Like, they may not have, like, graphically intense games, but, like, the games that they do have are a lot of fun. They have a lot of indie games. Yeah, they're fun games. They're fun games. Um, and I've been using the Switch a lot. I've been using the Switch a lot more than um, playing on the PC. You know what got me to the Switch on Night Alive? Mm. Splatoon. Dude, I have a second copy of Splatoon at home because I was Dude, supposed to play ridiculous. it with Zoe. But then Zoe wanted to start playing... Um, we started playing the Pokemon game. The, the new one? Yeah. Where you catch the Pokemon? Yeah, where you catch the Pokemon with the... Or you just the throw the ball, ball at them. Yeah. yeah. So I started playing that with her, and now we're playing Smash Brothers, and I let her oh. unlock all the people. She's really aggressive. <laughs> Smash Brothers, and like, I'm making my son wait for it, and then, like, I feel so bad. <laughs> I want to play it at the same time. I'm like, we could just do this, bro. We could just play one match, put it away. <laughs> <laughs> I think your wife would get angry. Yeah, she would get really She'd mad. She'd get really upset. How dare you go around my back? You know, and then Tina will defend her. It's not yeah, and fair. Tina will defend her. She'll be like, oh, no. Have we tried Grim Dawn Nano. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, they're talking the Nano Flower. Nano is the... Uh, yeah, I see. Oh. But Grim oh, Dawn, Grim Dawn is an action RPG game. It's very similar in regards to setup like Diablo. Okay. Um, but... It's a bit different. It's not like Path of Exile. So Path of Exile is another game that a lot of people are saying, like, that's that's second place Diablo. Like, if you don't play Diablo, you play Path of Exile. And they're a huge partner of us. Um, and we did a stream. They gave us some keys for it. Um, I think it was, like, last month or something. Um, but and I played Path of Exile a couple times. It is daunting, man. Like, the, the way you level up and stuff, like, you can immediately screw up your whole leveling you tree work. immediately. Yeah. yeah, like, I was like, like, you had to do a lot of research and stuff, and I, I was just like, man, I don't have time for this. I just need to go brain dead. And I've been playing Diablo on the Switch, like, when when, when I get, like, a, a chance. Um, and I was a bit drunk last night. I drank, like, three of the cans of the meat. You drank those? Yeah. They're really good. They messed me up real quick. Um, and I was just playing... Uh, Diablo and Tina's like, you're drunk and you're just saying <laughs> random things. And I was just saying things in Spanish like that didn't make any sense. Did you try the orange one? I did try the orange one. Good? Tina doesn't like it and I thought it was just okay. Orange, it's like blood orange or something. Yeah, it's made of uh, blood orange honey. The blackberry or one's good and the regular honey one's good. Does anybody like meat? Either? Yeah, does anybody like meat? There's got to be a guy. Because I, I don't like, like beer. Yeah, I'm like a Viking bro, so like I, I like meat. I don't like beer. I've tried just about everything. And this is about the only one I can Yeah, you really don't like beer. Beer grosses you out. Yeah. 
<laughs> we're not telling you you have to be a man no, for drinking. No, That's not what we're saying. It's just, it's just, me. It's just, it's just no. It's 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 the social stigma. Yeah, that men you know, drink beer. The same thing. Well, you go out and everybody's drinking beer, and you're like, let me have a sprite. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, how old is? I? Which I did for a while. You know, I did it for a while, and then I said, I only drink when work really pays for it, and I got that meat. Like and that's that's the only alcohol I've really. The thing purchased. is, I'm already awkward as it is, and I'm like, I got sweaty hands, and then, you know. You'll drop your drink. Yeah, because I don't. It just I don't drink. Out. It just slides right out. <laughs> but now I've got a drink that was made for Vikings. Like, how tough can I be? It's yeah, tough. you're right. Oh, he's still swinging. He's the orc. All right. I'm just gonna go over here. And back, so. Looks like that boss. Is Guy. He's like the scientist, the green fester or whatever. Oh, from Mac Traumas or something? Yeah. He's got his New York swings. Get out of here, skeleton. He's killing. Hey, I'm dead. He, sw he, sw <laughs> <laughs> he swung through the brick. Whoops. <laughs> I was not paying attention to my health. I feel like it should be bigger or something. I don't know. I'm making excuses for my failure. I think I can teleport back. Isn't there a monthly box with like gaming stuff that's not like pins and stuff, like useful gaming stuff? Like what kind of stuff? Like, like codes for skins. And oh, like a like almost like a giveaway bundle. Like oh, there's a bunch of giveaways. Yeah, but like a monthly like a box. box. I mean, that would be sweet. Yeah. With stuff that's actually useful, not like a t-shirt and then you wash it and it's to your belly button. Oh like my god, that happens all the time with the loot crate legit. stuff. Yeah. Like, posters are cool. Posters are cool. I do like posters, but, like, it gets to the point where, like, it's like yeah, a folded-up <laughs> poster, and it's not really that, like, it's like cool. You can't hang them all over your house. Yeah. Something useful. But what would be useful? Like, uh... Like, a like I know codes like track stuff. guys. Stuff like that. Nobody buys those magazines anymore. I used to freak out when I was a kid. I was what, like, get, like, like every Friday, Friday stuff? yeah. Like a yeah. strategy magazine. I would get them at guide. Blockbuster. Yeah, dude. I get excited. That and snow cone. Oh man, my mom never let me get that, really? dude. She never let me get hey, the snow cone. You want to hear when I was little? <laughs> Is it safe for the street? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Safe. I okay. found a hundred dollar bill one time uh -huh. on the floor, and I put it in my pocket, and I spent it all at Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> I bought everything I could freaking get my hands on: the bucket of popcorn, snow cones. Even you bought the, sodas. The, the freaking uh, bubblegum machine? <laughs> yeah, I went nuts. <laughs> I was rich. I was blockbuster rich. There's nothing better than being blockbuster rich. You know, I was thinking the other day, I was telling this to Zoe. I was like, you know, you're real fortunate that your dad loves you. And I, <laughs> and I have the money to pay for all these games for you. Like, I would have to wait till my birthday and stuff. And I'd be lucky if it was my birthday. You know, I had to borrow games. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I had to borrow games. Like, there's this place called Blockbuster, and I know you only get to play games on the weekend. Well, guess what? So did I. So I'd rent a game, and I'd have it for five days, but I could only really play it one day. Saturday, Sunday. No, because we would get it Saturday night. My mom would always make us go Saturday night. So I only had one day to play fucking, like, uh, Superman 64. <laughs> I'd be like, you try to Man. run through the whole game, it's not going to happen. No, it was a pain in the ass. It was, it was, it was, a, it was a serious, like, pain. When I was younger, playing games. Is this a belt or like a beetle? It's a belt, okay. But yeah, man, I. Oh, wow. She was like, you had to borrow games? No, I don't think it does that on the stream. Um, yeah. Wizard, of Wizard of Legend. That sounds cool. Did you get the year offer? What are they talking about? For Dark Souls 3, God of War. Just, what? I'm trying to follow what. Oh, the humble the, bundle. Yeah, yeah. What's TI next? 1080 TI? I don't think we're doing 1080 TI right now. I think we're still looking at it. Nothing confirmed. I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't have that information. Can I cast other spells? Because I got like a rain of air. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I got a new spell. What is this? Oh, oh shit. God. Getting new. The lightning didn't work. I think. A thief outfit. Well, I guess that's right, right? Like fire versus lightning. Lightning will destroy you. 
Oh yeah, definitely. If if someone just came up to you with like a fire, like, burn you slow. Kind of thing. Yeah, we cook you, but like light. Yeah, Look at you're, that. You're gone. Let's try this again on these guys. The fire. Damn. No, look how slow this is. I mean, they're on fire. Oh yeah, it, so it's, it's got a <laughs> dot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, they got a dot. They got. They're on fire. Oh, and I got a lightning staff now. Can I dual wield stuff? No. Hey, what the hell? Man? Oh, and it keeps shooting too. Wow. That's like I killed a man. Not enough rage. Um, too many games already, dude. What is what is Wizard of Legend? Wizard of Le that it's sounds so familiar. I think it's on Steam. What's your guys' opinion on Steam now that all these AAA titles have left Steam? And everybody's coming up. Everyone's coming up with their own thing. Everybody has their own thing now. You know, when Steam first came out, I wasn't a fan of it. Because I ordered, like, a, I don't know, Unreal Tournament and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, what? I don't get a copy of the game? What is this nonsense I want in my box? Yeah. And then I was like, well, this ain't so bad after a time. But then now everybody's doing it. So it's like, eh, this is the future. You know, a guy was asking me on Twitter, like, why isn't there a DVD player on the uh, Alien Area 51? And you were there in the room with yeah. me when we had those discussions, remember? About getting rid of the DVD player? Because, like, so, one, it's really expensive to get DVD players now. They're not cheap anymore. It's just like, because nobody makes them anymore. Yeah, nobody like makes cars. them. You need to see cars with DVD players. Anymore. Yeah. It's because people aren't buying it. Everyone's streaming their stuff. The satellite. They've even made it easier in cars for you just to, like, be able to plug in your phone. You know? Like, yeah, oh, all come with USB. We all have our, we have our built-in thing, but if you have a phone, like, we'll, we'll make it easy for you to get. My car even came with... Um, Two packages, and before you guys like these guys are Dell and oh my god, they have such expensive. No, I'm a cheap ass. Okay, I have a freaking Toyota Camry, I have a Chevy like Cruise. base level. All right, and it came with uh, a, 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 two bags. One had the iPhone charging cable, and the other had an Android charging cable. Your car came with actual with, cables. Yeah, with cables for nice. me to use, depending on the phone, and and so I could use that on on the for the car stereo. Seems nice. I my one I don't Disney. like Steam anymore. Is, there's not that many big titles. Anymore. I look at Steam sometimes and I'm like, what game should I play? And I realize there's no games really on there that I want to play. I do try a lot of indie games on PC, but they're most like first person shooters. Like but it also it also causes. So, so yeah, there are a lot of indie games on there. But that brings up my point with Switch. The w Switch has a bunch of these games like. One game, and I did play this when we were on Twitch, was Hollow Knight. I loved Hollow Knight. That was a lot of fun. But um, on the Switch, they have Hollow Knight, and they have Shovel Knight, and they have Stardew Valley. They have all these games. They have Titan Quest on there. Like, uh, I think even Grim Dawn? No, Grim Dawn's not on there. What's that game? Uh, shoot, what's that game called? Uh, the one with the guy that does the Witcher's voice. You guys know which one I'm talking about? Uh, Van Helsing. We have Van Helsing on there. And, like, I, I don't know, I feel like the Switch just... The Switch now has pretty much the Steam library. I hate this weapon. So I'm like, I'm not cool with the Switch. Like, come on. Like, when, we're, when we were... When, so Ernie and I play games Tuesdays and Thursday nights. Yeah. And for the most part, we play Blizzard games. And even when we come up with options of like what games we play on Steam, we never really have an answer. Well, let's be fair. It's three of us. There's three of and us. And we don't always all agree. Yeah, we don't always all agree. Because I like first person shooters a lot. And you like being competitive. Yeah, yeah I like being competitive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm cool with story. I mean, I don't hate story. I just get bored after a while. Yeah, there's got to be some sort of event. Like, we were going to do Destiny. Um, but then I started doing Destiny because I have a video that's coming out next week of Destiny. And I was kind of like, this game's fun. But... We've been doing this for like three months well, trying to agree do, on a game. We're going to do Borderlands. Yeah, right? Borderlands We're going to do Borderlands 2 because we all got the Handsome Jack collection. Or the Handsome collection, right? I think it was just called the Handsome collection. <laughs> um, so you spend all your time playing StarCraft 2 and more? 
<laughs> he loves that game. No, I don't love StarCraft 2 at all. <laughs> StarCraft at all. Um, John likes StarCraft, though. That's the thing. John's into like a different genre. Yeah, bad games. Yeah. Uh, and we no. Like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he plays it, but he likes a lot of like story heavy games. Yeah, and I don't mind story heavy games, but I definitely, um, I definitely just want to like kill people. You know, like I want, I want to kill people. I'm really competitive. I have uh, a serious issue with losing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like I, I like to win. I like to be the best. Um, especially if I'm if I'm only gonna play that game, you know what I mean? I don't know if red means I can't use this thing. There's nothing here that says I can't use this. Increases, whatever, bro. I'm using this shovel. It's a shovel, right? It's a rusty shovel, stronger than my magical thing. Yeah. Red can be really good, but you just can't multiplayer because everybody goes off in a different direction, and you always end up missing stuff while looting. Eh, whatever, I don't care about loot. Umar, about Umar usually controls where we go. Yeah. And he <laughs> yells at us. Guys, like, you gotta come this way! <laughs> only loot matters when Tina's playing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only That's time. not true. I look at my loot a lot, too. Should I use this or not? Like, hurry up! Dude, Tina looks at loot so much. It's it's insane. I tell her, like, I can't play this game with you. <laughs> we did the same thing in Dark Souls, because she'd look at, like, the piece of loot forever. I, I was like, Tina, you could beat the game with a knife. Like, it doesn't matter. Just pick what you like for your play style. Let's just do this. <laughs> you could beat the game with a knife. You can't beat the game with a knife. You could beat the game with a knife. Why does your M15 heat up? I don't want you to feel like I'm ignoring you. Because I'm not. I couldn't even um, see Yeah, it was really small. Um, it doesn't overheat. Oh, he didn't ask if it overheats. It heats up. So, this is the answer I got right now. And I have... And I'm having a hard time digesting this answer, okay? And I was working on this last night. The performance stays good. It doesn't matter if it's going up to 100 degrees, which is freaking me out because it should throttle. It, sh it, it should. should throttle, but it's not. As a matter of fact, so what I did with my M15, so I have an M15 that, was over, that they don't overheat. There's no thermal shutdowns that are happening, but there's also no thermal throttling that's happening. Matter of fact, putting liquid metal on it still puts it to 100 something yeah, degrees, it matter, but it still the makes the performance, it makes the performance go higher though. Mm -hmm. Like it's purposely trying to push as much power as you can put on it. And this is apparently, okay. I had calls with like Intel about it. And I was like, I still don't understand this. And I understood there is, so there is a difference between this and what some of the people were seeing on the past generation of notebooks. Yeah. Because the past generation did have exactly. thermal throttling and that yeah. was an issue. And that's why we came up with so many different heat sink solutions and redid some of the thermal paste and stuff. But apparently this is okay. Not just okay. It's, acceptable. it's, ex it's not, and it's not even ex acceptable. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm tapping on the desk with the mic and <laughs> popping people's ears probably. Um, the thing is, is that I don't understand this mechanic. I don't understand how when you use bad thermal grease, it still reaches 90 something degrees. When mm. I use good thermal grease, it still reaches it. And when I apply liquid metal, it still reaches that temperature. Performance stays solid the whole time through. And there's no damage to the dye. The silicon's been changed. So like, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around. And that's where I am right now with it. The performance it's, is good. Yeah. And not good, great. I have one in my bag right now. Yeah, everybody here is using one. Everyone, literally, we have not paid for these. <laughs> we have been finding <laughs> all of them. They like, go, oh, I need to use this for pictures. And then it's gone. Yeah. No one ever sees it back again. Um, it's just getting the most performance out of it. Yeah, so that's the thing. That's the thing, Nano. It's not thermal throttling. And the thing is, there are no, uh, there's no events that are saying um, this thing's reaching dangerous temperatures. There's no there's surface temps on it either that are burning. No, no. The only thing... There was a guy that did a review that I was reading um, while waiting for my meeting in Round Rock that he said, oh, it's hot because it gets like 50 degrees in the front. 50 degrees is hot to you? 
where do you live? Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm in Antarctica. When I feel 50 degrees, like someone turned on the heater. What are you talking about? Intel doesn't say it's, it should throttle. Intel says that spec-wise, this should always be pushing to the, that these, that the 8750H should be pushing as much performance as possible in every scenario. When it needs to thermal throttle, it will send that indication and do it. We have not been able to do that. We have not been able to cause it to thermal throttle. Unless we do something real crazy like Fermark and stuff like that, or Prime 95. Fermark. And those are meant to just kill you. Those are tat. You can run tat with all the cores on. Yeah, and those aren't real tests. Like they're just tests just, just to see. You're, you're just, just beating you're it purposely up. just beating it up. I mean, um, I, I beat them up though. Yeah. I purposely beat them up. Yeah, Ernie. Ernie purposely just tries to see how far he can take stuff. Um, and then he puts it on Excel and he says, "Look what I did to it." And people are like, "That's cool." And then they ask him for that same email four months later. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so so that's my address for the M15 thing. It's not a problem. It's not what's been expected for the past like 10 years for CPUs. You gotta understand the silicon die did change. Um, even for me, it's hard for me to swallow. Even though the evidence is in front of me that the performance is still really good, and that you the surface temps are still really good. It's just very hard for me to under stand why i don't know how to explain it in a way that that i think people would accept it is the thing it's also thin and light notebook it's also a thin and light notebook but i really like this notebook the m15 dude i thought you and me thought we were gonna hate it remember yeah we were we I were trash talking the thing fine. the entire development phase <laughs> we were like yeah i mean i guess Bigger, system. bigger's Giant. better. Yeah, yeah, bigger's better. That's what I like. Yeah. yeah. I want it to be the big dog in the room. Yeah. This guy is straight up. He looks just like the New York guy. The New York guy. Yeah. I'm gonna. I can't light you on fire. I'm gonna smash He's a ghost. Okay. I'm dying. Uh, how do I use this potion? Prime ninety five is a very good. Prime 95 is meant to kill. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, shit! <laughs> We've been using Prime 95 as a benchmark since, like, the dawn of time. I think, like, my first day at Alienware, we had been using it. It's super old. Like, everybody uses it. Even yeah. when we work with different partners and stuff like that, we use... Uh, uh, Prime 95. The, I mean, they use Prime 95 when they're like, oh, we're testing against this. Are the, Can I not dual wield? Because it's a great sword. Never mind. That's why. That floor is sketchy. That's right? like some crazy ritual floor. It's losing Santeria right there. Yeah, Hit me with some sage. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, return to brother Hennock. Henock? Henock? Uh, but yeah, this is a YouTube stream. This is the YouTube stream. Yeah, I like the chat box. I like the chat box too. The difference between oh, this guy's not dead. I mean, there can't be that much. They're competing. He's on the show. ground, but he's oh, this brother Liam. Is he getting like like Jedi choked? I don't know. Just took his blood. He's like brother. What happened? Um, let's see. This is sixteen twenty. Oh shit, that's strong. I'll use this though. <gasps> I can dual wield these two things? And then I realize people are gonna get shoveled and picked axe. Yeah. Have anybody played with the command center uh, fan modes out there? You can change the fan modes. No? There are people that have and they've uh, they performed this really well. Yeah, I damn, thought it, you just reminded it, me there's something I have to follow up on. Dude. On the M15 apparently it's not holding. The, no. the pro, but it was for one guy because I asked a couple other people. I did like a small survey, and like nobody else is having this issue. Yeah. Yeah. Command center, but I just gotta figure that out. Like why it was happening. Lightning's not good anymore. 
shovel pickaxe is where it's at. Um, but yeah, no, being able to change your fan profile is a big deal. It's something that people have asked for for a long, long time. Like, probably since like 2006, right? Because mm -hmm. we never made a solution within our software for it. People used to do it through. Well, you um, could, you could remember, you could adjust the fan, but it wasn't. Like, I don't think it, it was, was permanent. Basic, I yeah. think like if you restarted too, yeah, it's gone. It was it gone. Was now, which is the same thing for GPU overclocking. When you do GPU overclocking, it doesn't stay. Um, but I think our, I think our new command center uh, update, which I think is out, that does a GPU update, uh, the GPU overclocking. I think that that one. Um, Oh, I thought there was someone on the stream sending me a message on Twitter. Um, the, uh, I think that you can, when you restart, because GPU overclocking normally doesn't stick. And uh, I think that the new command center update allows it to stick. Good. Yeah. I have to check for you, Nanoflora. I have to go through the Intel spec. It's designed to operate up to 100 cc. So you need to push beyond that to get thermal throttle. That's what, so that's what's been in like the talks and like the documentation that I got. I was just like, I just don't, I don't want to believe that, you know, <laughs> like. It's just, you're not used to it. I'm not, and that's, that's my problem is that I, it's not that I don't believe it. It's that I'm not used to it. I'm not part of that school. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't taught in that school. You look at it and it shows it in red, you freak out. It's yeah. I do. What? The, that's the thing. So the the software that I use doesn't show it in red. It doesn't show it in red at that temp. Is what I'm saying. Like normally I'd see that, but I don't. <laughs> that's true. It is what Intel says. There's nothing we can do about that. But it is crazy, though. It is crazy, and it's hard to like. It's hard for people to digest. It's hard for me to digest. But then when I see that the performance is still good and it's still running well, like. What, what can I refute? You know? So, but it's hard for people to swallow that. And there's all, you know, there's a lot of, I know it's going to come off as offensive, but there's a lot of armchair engineers. There's a lot of people that, you know, think that they know, uh, like, how to design something, but they don't. Like, I've worked with a lot of people. a lot of people. Yeah, I've worked with, like, there are a lot of people that work on our products. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that work on our products. Um, and it's not like a one man thing. There's so many things, so many little nuances and things. Like it's, it, like you, you've, you've heard me joke, one team, one dream, but really like for Alienware, like we have a lot of people looking at stuff. And we have, and people think, oh, like Dell, Dell has like messed up Alienware. They've messed up in. No, so. man. Like it's way better <laughs> now. You know what I mean? Like we have so many people working on things. We have so many things like lessons yeah, learned from like other things. I was skeptical things. just as much as everybody else. I mean, Do you remember the meeting that we had when we found yeah. out Dell bought Alienware in the Alienware everybody headquarters? Was freaked out. Everybody was freaked out. Everyone was like, "Oh man, Dell's gonna mess yeah, it there up." Goes gaming. There goes gaming. It's done. They're just gonna turn us into like you know they're the. Uh, uh, people were saying, I know this, I shouldn't say this, but I will say it. Like, back then, people were like, they're just going to turn us into their failing gaming brand, which is XPS. But now XPS is the premium brand, and we're the gaming brand. But, like, the stuff that we have done compared to the past, totally different product, and not in a bad way at all. No. Like, our systems work very well. Our systems are, you know, we're able to provide experiences that a lot of people aren't able to get. Like, do you think the command center would be the way it is now? It's like anything, you know? Yeah. It's different. It's, it's a different, different outlook. Everybody's going to have a different scope on things. Yeah. They changed it up, and I don't think it's a bad change. No, I don't think it's a bad change either. I already have that. Uh... I, was, I was freaked out. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, a lot of us are freaked out about it, but I mean, I like the new stuff that we that we've been coming out since then. Um, Ernie and I are really excited for some new stuff yeah. that we that we're that we're working on. Um, no ETA, but like, just say back to the basics. It's not back to the basics because it's even better. Could you imagine? <laughs> dude, dude, it is way better. Um, like, 
I, we're not even supposed to really be talking no. about this, and I'm sure I'm going to get an email yeah. or a scolding later, but I don't really give a shit. Um, excitement. It's excitement. Me and Ernie are really, really excited. I know a lot of people are going to be excited. We have some cool stuff planned for 2019. For sure. There is some cool stuff coming out that we're, that we're all very excited about. And not just the people that kiss ass. Cause you know, every big company has like kiss asses. Like, oh no, this is the most brilliant no, idea. No. And it was like a, a lot of time we fight back on things. Yeah, we fight back on stuff. Like Alienware, Alienware product meetings are passionate. Yeah. There was a there was a meeting where um, there's a lot of passion. Where I was telling Frank this idea, and he said, "Okay, yeah, let's do it," just because Umar says it. And I got angry and said, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> it's true. And I ran out of the meeting upset, and I went. And I went into the lab and I started doing like my venture, but I was like crying in the lab. <laughs> I was like, I just want us to like do this thing. I mean, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we've all been through it. We've you know? all been there. Like Frank has seen you a lot of us. Dude. Frank has seen a lot of us cry because like we get real passionate about like the stuff that we're making because like we really want it to like be really freaking good. And and we've said this before. Like we have our our gaming summits and stuff. Like we have this thing where we get everybody yeah. as part of gaming and Dell from around the world. We get together and we talk about like what is the next thing we want to do. Like, what is the next big thing? What do we want to do in three years, four years? What do we want to do in six months? And everybody just kind of gets together. And we just put our like, heads together on, like, what we want to do. Which is cool. Oh, yeah. Yes. It looks like I have lots of levels to put in. Jesus 30 Christ. points. <laughs> <laughs> Will Park, you're going to get attacked. Ah, screw them. Spiders. They just smacked yeah. you. But yeah, because I leveled. You and I, they saw away. me level up, and they were like, you know what? <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> they were like, no. So when's the laptops of the RTX 2080 MQs coming out? That we can't share, but like, think about how most of the time <laughs> when desktop cards come out, like there isn't a mobile version yet. Like you're gonna have to wait a bit for a mobile version to come out. And remember that a lot of announcements happen, like I've said a thousand a times, people yeah. always ask me, when is this coming out? When, is, when does Alienware announce stuff? Alienware announces stuff at CES, at E3, PAX West, and where else do we? There's a fourth one, right? CES, PAX West, uh, E3. And, and then, like, small random one. Like, we yeah. announced, we announced well, the M15 PAX at TwitchCon. PAX, PAX East so sometimes does have launches, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, Nothing beats Comic Con. I'm just saying. Bro, that was the only event you got to go to, though. I but know, you're dude, right. But it was the coolest one. And ever. we didn't even go inside. No, we but weren't I did get inside. To see the Call of Duty booth. I did sneak inside with Frank. Remember? Yeah. We took a badge from somebody. You, you me both and, of you. Yeah, me and Frank went and we took a badge and we just went inside yeah, a Comic Con. The, uh, there was that cool uh, Assassin's Creed thing that we threw yeah, we, Gabe off. Yeah, we threw Gabe off. Of the, <laughs> hey, put the, this camera on. Yeah, him. put this camera. Throw we put a body off cam off on him and we told him to jump off of this cliff. In the haunted house we went into. It yeah. wasn't really that scary. No, it wasn't that scary. I do like scary. getting scared, though. I like that feeling. I like that feeling getting scared, <laughs> yeah, too. I like it. <laughs> Sometimes I just go into bad neighborhoods, and I unlock my car, and I say, I got Christmas presents in the back. I hope no one takes this. And just, <laughs> just see what happens. Rush. Yeah. Sometimes I just scream out, this gang sucks in certain <laughs> areas, just to see, like, you know, life's, life's, life's like, you know, don't knock it till you try it. Like, that's my mentality, right? Like, <laughs> just go, like, we could die, maybe. But again, it's maybe. What There's a good chance I probably won't. What the hell happened? What are your thoughts or opinions on the Alienware Air 51 desktop? You right. want to hear the original <laughs> opinion of when they first showed it to us? <laughs> Dude, what the heck is this triangle? <laughs> It, yeah, it took a little bit. Remember, yeah. I pissed off Frank. I said it looks like a space quesadilla. Yeah. It looks like the Crunchwrap from Taco Bell. It did it because the Crunchwrap was just out at that time, and, and we it were coming that box. And let me tell you, we were really into the Crunchwrap crunch when it came out. We, Ernie, John, and I, we ate a lot, we ate a lot of Crunchwrap. Lots of ball, how blast. Yeah, we, we were like eating it in the meeting, and we looked at it, and then we looked at the Area Fifty One, <laughs> and looked at it, and we're like, did you just spray paint one of these gray? <laughs> Like a crunch up, but, it, <laughs> but it's definitely a flagship system. I mean, yeah, it's a powerhouse. As a matter of fact, Anna's time. streams where she pushes in the gameplay from um, Salinity as well as hers. Um, she's yeah, using a thread nice. ripper over there. I edit, I've been editing on an R1 Area 51 forever. I still use it, that's what I used I to game it. today. I have no reason to upgrade it I own at a all. Thread ripper at home. Yeah, you have a thread, original, the original Threadripper at home. With 1070, and I love that thing. 
Yeah, it's really, really good. Like the Area 51, I'm surprised that I have an R1 Area 51. Where are we, like R6 or something like that? Like uh, R, yeah, R7. R7. I have an R1 and I still use it. And I have no, and let me tell you, let me tell you something before you're like, he's just a cheapo. I have yeah. access to anything. Yeah. I can have anything we come out with from low spec to maxed out. I could have dual 2080 Ti's if I wanted to. I could have a Threadripper too. I could have anything I want. I turned my workstation from an OLED 13. There's only a few OLED 13's. I turned it into one. What's the paste? What's the paste on what? No, you said yo. I'm just I don't know what's up, dude. Oh, paste. I for some reason I read it as pastel. Pastel for the win. Like he likes, he likes drawing in pastel. It could be for the win, or it could be. It he's could just, be the win. Yeah. You know, he just wants the middle finger of the world. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. You know, Which I was is going. Cool either way. Either way, I'm cool. With so it. tomorrow we're having a team sync. So yeah. Ernie's part of the team, but there's a lot of people that are part of our team too, because we had like a yeah. shake up. So we have a lot of people on the desktop. I'm glad that people are asking a lot of desktop questions too. Um, we have a lot of desktop people on the team. Even John's on the team now. Mm -hmm. It's the first it's time we've been together since, since 2015. Miami. Since Miami, yeah. one leader. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah, we're all on the same team again for the first time forever, all doing incredibly different things. Um, you have a GTX 980, 16 gb and it seems to be holding strong. Only thing regarding the fans, I found the auto setting. Whatever the fans are turning when my graphics card was overheating, I was able to adjust it through the command center. You can, oh. Yeah, you can tone it down a manual and just adjust your own thing. That's the what 90, I do at home. The 9080 is good, though. But the 10 series, the 10 series to me, like when, when the RTX cards came out, I was like, I don't see how they're going to beat the 10 series. The 10 series was a masterpiece by NVIDIA. Like, it's still top notch. 10 series to me is just a masterpiece from NVIDIA. For like, it's just so good. Yeah, if especially for the for money. For money. You yeah. Because, I mean. Yeah. Not everybody has unlimited pockets. Or yeah. Or an inventory they can just pull from. But I, I switched from an Aurora to an Area 51 at home. Yeah. I'm super happy. I, mean, I just use a 1070. It plays everything. Tina uses the 1070. I have a 1080 in my Area 51. That's the only thing I upgraded from it because I had to do like performance and stuff. But I have a 1080 in my Area 51 R1. Totally fine. Tina's using an Aurora. I had Zoe using the Alpha for a while. Um, but now I got her the old Aurora I had here that was like uh, was when I did way too many different like config changes too, so it started getting messed up. So I have her using that one just because she's like playing Roblox, yeah. so who cares? Um, but I mean, it just it works really, really, really well. Um, you got an RTX 2070 Wicker? I didn't even know Wicker had a 2070. Stop flexing, Stop boy. flexing. Stop flexing, boy. <laughs> um, what the hell is this? Oh, wow. I got so many skill points. <laughs> I didn't even realize this was here. Nine, man, the 9 Series cards were solid, too. The 9 Series cards were really solid. They were very, very solid. Matter of fact, I think um, our old workstations were like uh, 980s, mm -hmm. right? And... Uh, I just took off the corporate image and just put on a normal one, and it just it works fine for like when I like I use it in the garage for VR. The alpha, the alpha had a 960 forever, forever. forever. Um, damn, what was I gonna say? Oh, so we have a lot of people joining the team, and tomorrow we have an all-day workshop. That's why Anna's not streaming on Thursday too, because uh, we have another thing on on yeah. Thursday and another thing on Friday. It's the whole week. The whole week, pretty much, from tomorrow on. But we have to hashtag someone mm -hmm. that 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 we have. And I got Nick, and you guys know Nick. He's been on the stream a couple of times talking about Command Center. He's been in videos about VR. I actually have to finish a video. Savage Nick. Savage Nick. He's an animal. He's an animal. I love that guy. But I'm gonna hashtag him as hashtag DTF. <laughs> because he's always down to film. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So, oh, so um, <laughs> and he got the million dollar smile. So, he does. yeah. So, Jesus. I got him as a guy that I have to write uh, hashtags for. Um, but that's actually a pretty funny. Exercise. It's gonna be. It's, yeah, it's a funny like exercise. Icebreaker. Yeah. Um, does the 980 handle VR? Yeah, it handles VR. Um, I find. Yeah. I find definitely gonna age. We should. You should be trying out Borderlands VR. I mean, yeah. 
Dude, yeah. They if have you, Borderlands if, VR. Yeah. There. yeah. I heard it's really good, actually. I heard it's really good, too. If you want to laugh, like, hysterically, just watch me VR. Ernie only has I'll one start, good eye. I'll start sweating. <laughs> I get motion sickness. And my... <laughs> dude, yeah. Er, just, Ernie only has funny. one good eye. You only have one good eye. One good eye. You're it's blind in one eye. Thing. Yeah. Legally yeah. blind in one eye. I can see, but everything's just like really blurry. Like really bad. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, I was born that way, so I don't know the difference. Everybody's like, yeah. what would you feel like with two? I, I don't know. That's like when we asked um, Frank's nephew, Mike. He couldn't <laughs> smell stuff. Schmitty yeah, Schmitty. He couldn't smell things. Yeah. So we were right. like, so we were like, hey, how would you feel if you could smell something? I don't know what that function's like. <laughs> we were like, oh yeah, that's oh, right. Look, it's Gabe. Hey, what's up, yeah. Gabe? Thanks, hey, dude. Gabe. It's a shame that Gabe's here because I was about to say, hey, it's time to go. It's five <laughs> o'clock. We gotta turn off the stream. Um, Man, so, I love Gabe. Yeah, Gabe. Gabe. Gabe was our. Gabe was our boy. Not Gabe. was. Is our boy. It's just now Gabe's living the I, I ship things now <laughs> internationally <laughs> life. Um, so um, now nah, Gabe's doing really well for himself. Uh, Gabe was <laughs> super lack of depth perception. Yeah, I fall all over the place. By the way, yeah. Remember that three-year uh, dinner with everybody, and my giraffe legs kicked in, <laughs> and I fell over the freaking. And we got in that car accident because he didn't see the distance between you and the other car at the McDonald's, and we had to push your car. No, to... we were going to Michi's, and then we went to McDonald's. We, I yeah, yeah, car. we were going. So Michi's is a pizza place, and we were going there, <laughs> and then Ernie hit a car. And I then, see good. I thought I made it. Yeah. And so we were like, uh-oh. By default, got to go to McDonald's. Went over the median. <laughs> Drove far away. <laughs> <laughs> and then parked in the McDonald's parking lot and just sat in the car for a while. And No, but we got apple pies. And we sat there eating that in the car. <laughs> um, yeah, paper members of Mercedes. <laughs> Yeah, that happened, yeah, and we had we had to drive away. Yeah, a lot of things have happened to me at work. Yeah, a lot of things happened. I exploded happened. my pants one time. You exploded your a pants. Cartwheel. You did a cartwheel. So normally it we, was bring we, your kids. It to was work bring your kids day. to work day, and they always made us watch everyone's kids because we were the cool guys. We had all the games and all the setups and stuff. Oh God. Ernie was doing a cartwheel. <laughs> I got challenged by the kids. Yeah. You can't, I can cartwheel, bro. I'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> my pants exploded. Your pants exploded. I, in front of I the wrote kids. it out though the whole day. Like you wrote that. out the whole day that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I made a nice air pocket. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. Well, we do have to drop off the stream now. Thank you all for tuning in. Welcome to the team, Ernie. Thank you, guys. And um, and John. Oh, <laughs> I'm already home. <laughs> just like that, you wrote. And just like so there, John's here. What a dirt bag. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's it. I'm just going to save the game. And uh, we will see you guys next week. I will have a video coming out tomorrow going over the uh, wireless setup for the Vive VR. And uh, that's all I got to freaking say. See you guys later. Bye.